Also tonight, the Buffalo Diocese could be hours away from a resignation many Catholics have been pushing for for more than a year. As we told you last night at 5 o'clock, a new report says embattled Bishop Richard Malone will step down tomorrow. His resignation would follow multiple investigations by the 7 Eyewitness News I team that revealed how he handled cases of sexual abuse by priests under his watch. And if he does step down, the Bishop of Albany is expected to step in temporarily. Keith Radford joining me now. Keith, who is this bishop? All right, Ashley, here's the latest as of this moment. His name is Edward Scharfenberger. He has led Albany's diocese since 2014, and he's taken a very strong stance publicly about how the church deals with cases of abuse. There is no doubt Western New York's nearly 700,000 Catholics are eager to learn more about 71-year-old Bishop Edward Scharfenberger and how he is dealing with the priest sex abuse scandal in his city. 83 priests and clerics in the Albany Diocese have been accused of child sexual abuse. This past August, when the Child Victims Act rolled out here in New York, Bishop Scharfenberger said, quote, the truth is the only way through this. We seek to continue to encourage swift reporting. No one must fear speaking truth to power. Bishop Malone's former secretary and diocesan whistleblower, Siobhan O'Connor, says she's pleased to learn Scharfenberger is expected to step in temporarily here in Buffalo. And so I actually always thought that he seemed like a, a really great guy, and I was thrilled when I heard that it might be him. I, I can't think of any other New York State bishop that I would want to come in here except for him. In 2018, Bishop Scharfenberger boldly stated the church's sexual abuse scandal has, quote, reached a point where bishops alone investigating bishops is not the answer, saying that lay people should investigate misconduct. Attorney Steve Boyd is representing more than 100 alleged victims suing the Buffalo Catholic Diocese. The hope, I think, for most of our clients is that if someone new comes in, this will not just be a new name and a new face, but a complete sea change in how the Catholic Diocese of Buffalo does business. And Boyd's message for the next leader of the Buffalo Diocese is clear. Release the secret files. Transparency. Speak truthfully whenever you're speaking about abuse. Put the survivors and the Catholic community ahead of the administration and the priests. Also tonight, we found out Buffalo's movement to restore trust has emerged once again after calling for Bishop Malone's resignation several months ago. This group will lead a discussion this coming Saturday morning. It'll be held at Canisius College at the Montanti Center about what qualities the laity would like to see in the next Bishop of Buffalo. Also, a bankruptcy attorney is going to be there to discuss what could happen if the diocese files for bankruptcy. 